Hello everyone, this is The Veracity and welcome to my channel. Anyway, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod na video uploads ko. Ako po ay gumagawa ng mga videos regarding sa mga online earning applications sa Android phone at mga Bitcoin mining website na pwede yung pagkakitaan. Nagre-review din ako gumagawa ng mga video regarding sa mga VPN available dito sa Pilipinas and some other things on the web. So, please subscribe. I-verify natin yung ating Gcash account at para automatic na mapalitan yung pangalan nito, i-click lang natin yung verify now dito sa ating Gcash account at ito ay napaka simple lang at napaka bilis and of course it is a legit way kumbaga ito ay yung KYC na ginagawa ng mga global representative natin okay so kapag naklik na yung verify iklik lang natin yung get fully verified and then we're going to choose an ID on this part yung mga available IDs natin is UMID ID driver's license field health card SSID, passport, TIN ID, at saka yung voters ID. And then you can see more available ID. And afterwards, pipicturean lang natin yung ating valid ID na galing sa government. And it, it will capture all the information that we have on this uh, ID. Mas maganda yung mga government issues ID kesa sa mga student ID kasi mas mabilis yung verification. And afterwards, i-click lang natin yung next to take a photo of yourself. So, hindi siya na-capture ng screen recorder kaya nag-block yung screen on this part. At saka napakaganda kasi nung model na ginamit natin kaya hindi siya na-capture ng ating screen recorder and it is a joke. So, Kapag naklik mo na or nakapag-capture ka na ng iyong image gamit yung next, yung step na iyon is lilitaw yung lahat ng mga information mo regarding dito. And you're going to fill out some important information na hindi na fill out na automatic dito sa part na ito. Okay, so check mo lang kung tama lahat ng mga information on this part. And then... Uh, yung last part nito is i-click mo lang kung ano yung uh, trabaho na meron ka, kung ano yung uh, kind of job na ginagawa mo or uh, as of now is yung work details mo and then kung saan nanggagaling yung income mo, yung source of income. So, afterwards kapag na-click na natin yun is delete yung next and i-click lang natin yung accept terms and condition and then i-click lang natin yung confirm. Okay, so kapag na-click natin yung confirm, application submitted, we receive your application, please allow up to 30 minutes for us to review your application. And afterwards, i-log out lang natin yung ating Gcash account. A few moments later. Yeah, nagbigay ng verification or notification si Gcash. So, ilalagin ko lang yung aking, yung, uh, ilalagin ko lang yung Gcash account ng kaibigan ko. And then, tingnan natin na fix na yung pangalan. Kanina yung kung Roma Alipio dyan ay meron siyang letter H. So, invalid siya. So, usually kasi ginagawa natin itong uh, pag-fix ng mga error sa ating Gcash. Kasi mahalaga na iayusin muna natin yung mga information natin before we're going to link yung ating Gcash account sa PayPal. This is the uh, way kung paano i-fix yung ating uh, error name and verify yung ating Gcash account using our Android phone. So guys, uh, don't forget to click subscribe and the notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod na mga video ko. At katulad ng lagi kong sinasabi, I'm going to share some of my profit dito sa aking YouTube channel once na ito ay na monetize na. So thank you very much guys. Ingat kayo and God bless you all.